So in the pregame show yesterday, Jeff Merrick said something along the lines of the Edmonton Oilers are playing the Ottawa Senators who are a tough out. And him calling the Ottawa Senators a tough out, I'm almost beginning to think Eugene Melnick paid him to say that. And hey, maybe I could start some kind of a conspiracy theory by saying Melnick paid Jeff Merrick to say that because that's why Eugene can't spend money on good players because he's paying people in the media to say nice things about his team. Let's talk about the game. I'm not really going to go over the score verbatim here and, you know, say, oh, this guy scored for Edmonton, that guy scored for Edmonton. I really don't care to talk about that, to be honest, because I'm so sick and tired of talking about that, about, you know, the Sens just giving up all these goals against all the time and who scored them for the other team. It seems like either every other game or every two games, the Sens have to give up five, six, seven goals against. Like, I don't know when this is going to stop. They always keep taking steps backwards. They've regressed massively from last year. Anyone with eyes can see that. Sens fans are so frustrated with this team and I don't know you can't come back with this same coaching staff next season I wouldn't advocate for firing them right now just because it's a lost year you know it just doesn't make sense to fire them at this point in the season so I think you have to get rid of them though at the end of this year when this season is done because how can you come back with this guy how can you come back with DJ Smith? How can you come back with any of those assistant coaches? Their penalty killing is brutal still. I, I don't know when was the last year they had a good penalty kill. Maybe the 14-15 season. I think they were clicking above 80%. I believe that's the last time they've had a penalty kill at 80 or above 80%. And they haven't had one since that year. So your penalty kill is bad. Your 5-on-5 five five play is bad. The Sens play the stupid style where they try to swarm the puck and they go to the guy who's least dangerous all the time and leave the guy in front of the net who's most dangerous wide open and the guy with the puck is not always the most dangerous guy on the ice if he's like in the corner and he's already got a guy covering him you don't need another guy to go in there and try and cover him and then you leave a guy wide open in front of the net and then he becomes the most dangerous guy and if he just makes a nice little pass through the pressure that guy's wide open and he's alone with your goalie and I find that happens so many times with the Sens. Okay, I just want to touch on this narrative that's going around and people have been talking about so much about this guy. It's Brady Kachuk and he's going to like me talking about him because that guy just loves attention like you wouldn't believe. The notion that he should be captain is absolute bull crap. I, I don't know who, who could think that guy should be captain to be honest with you. For me, the fact is he, that he's even wearing an A on his chest is disgraceful to this organization. Just the way he acts, he's so selfish, taking stupid selfish penalties like the one he took on Dreisaitl. Did Dreisaitl dive a little bit on that play? Yeah, maybe he did a little bit. But you know what? If you're Kachuk, don't even give the refs that opportunity to call that penalty on you. That is no leadership at all. That just doesn't show a guy who's got high character he's just thinking oh i'm frustrated so i'm gonna go take a stupid penalty just to show how frustrated i am like that's really what a captain would do and yeah i get it even captains would get frustrated too but when you're taking stupid selfish penalties that cost your team like that i don't know i, I just don't think a guy like that should be in the running for captain i think you make thomas shabbat the captain i've been lobbying for him to be the next sense captain for a long time now and I definitely don't want it to be Brady Kachuk because if they make it him, that's a big mistake. Matt Murray, I mean, look, I like Matt Murray. He seems like a nice guy, but my goodness, he has been so bad this season. And not only has he been so bad, he's just been so inconsistent. Like, I don't get it. This guy can look so good some games and then he can just look like he doesn't even have any business being in the NHL and other games like the one he played last night. Like that wrist shot from James Neal to make it 6-0 in the second period. Man, oh man, that was bad. That's a save you need to get on the road. And even that Darnell Nurse shot, I know they were saying the opening goal, the Darnell Nurse goal, I know they were saying the commentators, oh, we had no chance, there was a screen. I don't know. I would have liked to seen him have that one as well. The Jujar Kara goal, uh, that was, I mean, a really good play by him and Devin Shore. Uh, Shore especially coming in on the breakaway. He fakes the shot there, then he passes it over. Really no chance for Murray. The sense that's on them, on their players for, 
you know, making that turnover in the middle of the ice, just having no awareness of their surroundings like they seem to do a lot of. But at the end of the day, yeah, their defense is brutal. The way they play defense, I should say, is brutal. I want to rephrase that because their six-man unit isn't necessarily just brutal on its own. It's the five guys on the ice at the same time that are playing really bad in their own end and giving up loads of chances against and they need a save too. You couple that with the fact that they can't get a save, that's why this is so ugly so far. Leon Dreisaitl gets a hat trick and I don't know, is it just me or is Dreisaitl just really sick and tired of playing the Ottawa Senators? Because every time he scores on them, it's just like, oof, that was so easy. I don't watch a ton of Edmonton games. If you're an Oilers fan, let me know in the comments below. I know this is kind of a stupid thing to ask, but I'm gonna ask it anyways. Is that how Dreisaitl just is? He's maybe more of a cerebral type of guy. He doesn't really do over-the-top celebrations or anything like that. He's pretty quiet when he scores. Or is it just he's bored of playing the Ottawa Senators, like I said? The Sens are down 4-0 after the first period. And to open up the second, play-by-play -play man Harner Ryan Singh is saying that you know, there wasn't very many positives for the Ottawa Senators in that first period. But one positive they can take is that they really out-hit the Oilers. And Louis DeBrusque is agreeing with him. And I'm thinking to myself, are you guys serious? Like, yeah, woohoo, that's such a positive. You're out hitting the Oilers because they had the puck the whole first period. That's why. Like, I don't know what's with this old school, these hockey broadcasters. They're so into this old school mindset of, yeah, let's, yeah, at least, you know, that was a good period for that team because they were out hitting. That's a positive they can take. Not a good period, but a positive they can take. Is it a positive when you don't have the puck? That's usually why a team has a lot more hits than the other is because they don't have the puck. And if the other team's got it, they're obviously not going to be hitting the Ottawa Senators. And that was just ludicrous. I was so frustrated to even hear that. I was like, don't even say that right now. That's ridiculous. Colin White would get injured in that second period. It looked like he was trying to stop the puck from going through his feet. He fell awkwardly. The way he fell into the boards, I mean, I just got hurt watching that even. That was... That was pretty painful to look at, and for Colin White, it looks like he's going to be out for a while, but hopefully he'll be back soon, and I'm wishing him all the best. So let me know what all of you think in the comment section below. This was a different game review than what I normally do. I normally, you know, walk everyone through the scoring and stuff like that, kind of the feel of the game, but I just want to touch on some reoccurring issues that the Ottawa Senators seem to have. And, you know, it's just, they, they go from being a team that's, so fun to watch to being a team that just looks unwatchable like they did last night so let me know all that and more in the comments down below please like and subscribe and share this video thank you for watching and i'll talk to you all again soon